Top 10 Most Corrupt Countries in the World Not all governments operate with the best interests of their citizens as the top priority. People in power can have a hard time resisting the temptation to use that power for their own gain, and many public servants in many countries around the globe have been caught up in political scandals and corruption. In fact, some countries have such a history of corruption that it has caused political unrest between the country's government and its citizens. In this video, we bring to you the top 10 most corrupt nations in the world. Let us get started. At number 10, we have Libya. Corruption in Libya largely stems back to the leadership of Muammar al-Gaddafi, who ruled Libya for 42 years and enshrined a system of national bribery. Although the colonel had his fair share of good deeds, making sure that the citizens of the nation had access to a lot of services for free, like education, healthcare, electricity etc. If you dig deep, you will discover that many of these free services came with so much bribery and corruption. One thing to note is that, even after the reign of Gaddafi, bribes are still widespread in Libya and often seen as part of the local system of governance. Recently Libya's new government led by Prime Minister Ali Zita. Number 9. Yemen. The brutal civil war that took place in Yemen plunged the nation into an unprecedented humanitarian crisis and decimated the country's economy, further engraved by widespread nepotism that impedes any attempts at investment in the country. Deep-rooted corruption is hampering any meaningful attempts at recovery, and extortion and passive bribery are both legal and common practice. Corruption is the root cause of Yemen's stagnant growth according to researchers at Transparency International. Corruption is crippling the already moribund Yemeni economy, where small business owners are unable to expand or often operate because of arbitrarily imposed fines they are frequently charged by police officers and local officials. Coming in eighth, we have Equatorial Guinea. While much of the population of Equatorial Guinea suffers extreme poverty, the president Teodoro Abyang Nimambasogo and his family live like royalty. In October 2017, the president's son, Teodorin was given a three-year suspended sentence by a French court for allegedly stealing millions of dollars in public money to fund his extravagant playboy lifestyle. Vast oil revenues have funded a lavish lifestyle for the elite of Equatorial Guinea, while 74% of the population lives in poverty. Earlier this year a collection of cars bought by the son of the president went on sale in Paris after being seized during a corruption inquiry. The constant plundering of the nation's revenues by the elites makes it one of the most corrupt countries in the world. Number 7, Venezuela. Venezuela's newly elected President Nicolas Maduro who replaced longtime leader Hugo Chavez has said that fighting corruption is a priority of his government. But Venezuelan analysts say he has a long way to go. Companies ranging from logging to the state-owned iron ore industry have come under the hammer for rampant corruption. Earlier this year federal legislators and a local newspaper revealed $1.2 billion in scams from one iron ore company as well as a widespread kickback scheme. Most recently the mayor of Venezuela's third largest city, Valencia, was detained over accusations of corruption. The country continues to battle a severe economic crisis that has led to increased poverty and higher crime rates, despite having the world's largest oil reserves. Bribery, theft of public money, and nepotism are commonplace in government and the police force. Then we have. Sudan. Due to being constantly ravaged by conflict, Sudan has a huge problem with bribery, cronyism, and nepotism in particular. And entrepreneurs in Sudan have to know the right people or pay off officials to achieve anything. The Sudanese government controls the country's oil sector, which Transparency International says is filled with cronyism and graft. Public servants often demand bribes to provide basic services, and government officials are allowed to act with impunity. Regional experts say that the lack of transparency in Sudan allows for widespread corruption at the local levels of government. While the Sudanese government established the country's first anti-corruption agency in January 2012, the agency has not yet conducted any anti-corruption activities. Number 5. Syria. The war-torn nation remains a wholly corrupt country as it is led by President Bashar al-Assad, who has killed many of his people over the past few years. The president's family and supporters control almost everything in the chaotic country and are involved in a myriad of dubious dealings, from stealing aid money to trading in illegal arms. 
Early this year, hundreds of people in Sweda, a Druze-majority city in southwestern Syria, took to the streets to decry corruption and worsening living standards. It is reported that the regime has made so many flawed decisions that has led to this economic deterioration. Syrians who lost government subsidies have especially struggled to secure fuel for heating this winter, with reports of families using tree branches and even cow dung to stay warm. Years of war, the coronavirus pandemic, and sanctions continue to batter Syria's economy. According to the United Nations, 90% of the country lives in poverty, while 60% are at risk of going hungry. In fourth place. We have Afghanistan. Afghanistan has ranked within the top 10 of international corruption lists for years. Corruption is a widespread and growing problem in the Afghan society. It has penetrated all parts of the Afghan state, adversely affecting the ability of Afghanistan to maintain security for its citizens and deliver basic public services. Corruption is also increasingly embedded in social practices, with patronage politics and bribery becoming an acceptable part of daily life. This continues despite the expressed aim of the National Unity Government to address corruption, the establishment of various anti-corruption bodies and President Ghani's personal involvement in larger procurement processes. Is is reported that the gap between the public and the government had widened due to corruption, resulting in a situation where Afghans had to bribe officials to be able to access the most basic public services. Number 3. North Korea. Considered by many to be the most corrupt nation in the world. The rights to food, health, shelter, work, freedom of movement and liberty are universal and inalienable, but in North Korea they depend primarily on the ability of individuals to bribe state officials, said UN High Commissioner for Human Rights, Michelle Bachelet, in reaction to the report. The constant threat of arrest and prosecution provides state officials with a powerful means to extort money and other favors from people desperate to avoid detention in inhumane conditions, the report says. In addition, the living conditions and treatment of detainees can also depend on the payment of bribes. The government continued to sharply curtail all basic liberties, including freedom of expression, religion, and conscience, assembly, and association, and ban political opposition, independent media, civil society, and trade unions. Coming in second place. We have South Sudan. It is reported that South Sudan's public officials have stolen untold amounts of public money and are only too willing to accept monetary payments and gifts. Anti-corruption legislation isn't enforced in the country, and as such, wrongdoers are free to act, knowing fully well that they won't be prosecuted for their crimes. According to one member of parliament, the nation has lacked any and all regulations to combat frauds and malfeasance among the senior government officials, especially among government procurement officials within the Ministry of Finance and Economic Planning. The major corruption scandal since the beginning of self-rule has been the so-called Dura Saga, although there have been dozens of other significant instances of similar wrongdoing. These episodes have often been shrouded in confusion and have almost never resulted in prosecution or punishment. The Africa Review noted in 2013 that despite the South Sudanese government having ordered several investigations into scandals, they are virtually always ignored or intentionally sabotaged altogether. And coming in first place. Somalia. Widely considered the world's most corrupt nation. Torn apart by rival warlords in the early 1990s, the current government is weak and a climate of lawlessness prevails with almost every aspect of life in the country sadly affected by rampant corruption. Several forms of corruption are illegal in the country, however implementation of the law is non-existent, and Somalia is rife with embezzlement, abuse of office, and bribery. Dysfunctional institutions facilitate an environment of lawlessness, and the absence of any form of regulatory framework hinders prospects of economic competitiveness. Business is based on patronage networks, and tight monopolies dominate the market. Somalia's provisional constitution criminalizes several forms of corruption, including abuse of office, embezzlement and bribery, however, implementation is non-existent. And that's it for the top 10 most corrupt nations in the world. Make sure to leave your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching, and until next time.